Hey everyone, we're finally here. We're fine. Well, I'm finally in Quebec City. Exactly. It's yeah. about time you get your butt out here. I know. So uh, we're getting savvy back into the beat of things. This is our first practice session of the summer. And um, you remember from last time, when I saw the video of the last time, I was you know, facing her. I didn't see the down the line. We're fixing that right now. Now, the, one of the things that we did to help you with your posture and get over the shot better, mm -hmm. we did, <clears throat> since you're a lefty, <laughs> we'll give you a lefty stick, the old Henrik Stenson grip, or the Hen Henry Stenson drill, yeah. or Henrik Stenson, I should say. So we got the oars of a kayak, and you got water up to the knees, and you're going to move water away from the target. Fantastic. Do you feel how you're staying forward to move the water? Now, yeah. do you feel how you're, you, you're moving the water with your legs? Yeah. Very good. So come on back to address. Push down against my hand. There's the water, right? Now try to move my hand that way. Yeah, feel that? Yeah. Okay, and on the way through, push down against my hand. Feel that pressure? Yeah. Man, that's strong. Very good. So now, take your club. Now, <clears throat> one of the things that um, we had to remind Savvy of, so when you take your posture down the line that way with the camera. Yeah. So when your posture is forward, mm -hmm. you feel like you can really keep some pressure. If you were going to push against my hand right now, you feel really strong in the core right now, yeah. right through the shoulder, right? Yeah. Now put your hands really high and keep the club flat. Push against my hand. Can you, you can really feel the difference. I can yeah. really feel there's so much less pressure against my hand. Yeah. So get into that nice setup. Notice how the toe of the club is off the ground. Yeah. Okay. So make sure you guys can see that. See the toe is off the ground. So even this is a stiff shaft that you have. Yeah. When the club stops coming down and starts going up again, the shaft bows a little bit and the toe comes down a little bit. Right. Right. So right now with that, uh, that pressure that we were talking about, keeping that pressure against the door frame. So right now we're using this T as a door frame. Yeah. Go ahead and set up. You feel now that you're forward and you can really apply some nice pressure against the door frame with that, correct? Yeah. Beautiful. So let's see you use the weight of your hammer to squish through that door frame. Okay, a couple more. So you missed that in the air at 150 and it still made it 160. Yeah. Very good. So come on down. Feel like you can apply some pressure. How's the ball position? There we go. That one was forced. Four. You felt that? Yeah. So. I also felt way too close to the ball. Okay. What do we, what's the task? Use the the weight of your arm hammer unit to squeeze through, correct? Yeah. Good. Good. That's nice compression there. Yeah. Fantastic. So that one carry, 157 carry, good center strike. And notice how there's a little bit too much draw on that one, right? Yeah. yeah. So the path was excellent. Yeah. So a little less strong on the grip. Can you feel the diff? Yeah. Okay. Squeeze through with some nice heft. Good. Another solid shot. Just a wee thin. Yeah. A little thin, a little toward the toe. Yeah. So keep that pressure forward with the chest and through the door frame. All right. Still felt a bit forced, but. Okay. Putting so. too much, I'm trying too hard with the. With pressure? Yeah. Okay. Instead of just using the weight of the club. Yes, use momentum to apply the pressure. All right. That straightened out a lot more. Yeah. Let's 
So, yeah, that's a lot more respectable draw. A little thin on the, but more center on the face. That's good. Path is still very nice. Awesome. That was way better. Good swing. Yeah, I like that. I mean, and look at the spin you're putting on that. Yeah. So you're carrying that 154, 160 total. So launch is 19. Your back spin's close to 6,000 RPM. That's excellent. Mm -hmm. And if we're looking at the average of that descent angle on your shots. So, so your, your peak height is around 90 feet. Mm -hmm. Descent angle is at 46 degrees. So it's brilliant. So anything between 45 and 50 degrees, you're golden. Yeah. And notice how the ball is really holding nicely. And that's medium conditions. Yeah. So you're getting some really solid uh, stopping power on your iron shots right there. Good. Club head speed's 85 miles an hour on that 7 iron. Brilliant. So let's try, um, let's, let's try the 4 iron. See how the 4 iron's doing. Okay. I have a feeling we're going to have to um, adjust your lies here because you're, you're, you've been averaging six degrees toe down mm -hmm. on the club. So if, if you're losing your posture and you're standing up through the shot, that's, mm -hmm. that's where it's sitting down, right? So if we can keep you up against that door frame, really feel that squeezing pressure down and through yeah. and feel how that toe stays up at address, yeah. then we can, we can address that considerably. Do we need the dots? Uh, let's try just a couple of shots here without it. And then we'll put some dots on that sucker. So same thing, through the door frame. Use the heft of that arm club unit to apply that squeeze. Good, it's a good start. Excellent miss. All right, we're gonna have to back up that green. <laughs> 194, excellent. So that was 180 carry. Let's back up that green to 200 yards. There you go, awesome. Nice posture. Yeah, so you, you got lots of room there? Yeah. Good. What was your focus? The ball. Good shot. Can I grip down on this one? A nope. bit? If you want a little. It's okay. Just a smidge. Okay. Good. What's your focus? Uh, the point Squeezing of the... through with the heft of the hammer? Yeah. Arms and hammer. Good. Better swing. A couple more. Good, all right. So I'm gonna give you a little tip here that's gonna help even more. So 175 carry, we can definitely improve on that as the launch is a little low. Yeah. Now, so we're going out here toward those targets, right? We're gonna start at a little left of the, of, the, of the posts. Yeah. But I want you to take it up there. See the tree line? Yeah. Three tree lines up. Okay. Okay? So let's see three tree lines up to the left of that red post. And you can play the ball a little more forward if you want. Does it feel better there? Yeah. Okay, so three tree lines up. Yeah. See the diff? Yeah. That got you through. Yeah. Now, look at the difference in carry. So you brought that up to 200 yards. Mm -hmm. and we carried that 182. Is the flight supposed to be high-ish on a four? Like how? Well, it, 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 you know, right now it's at 60 feet, so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm showing you to deliver it up a little bit higher. Yeah. 
the spin on it's a little just a hair low you've been a little bit low and that and that we can do that with the golf ball as well mm -hmm. so launch angle is a smidge low so keep keep with the height that you want to send that out okay okay so let's see left of the red post three tree lines up do you see where that pocket is in your mind yeah okay throw it up there squeeze it up there I mean, it was higher up. So on a scale of 1 to 10, what was your strain level? Probably a 7. Okay, so let's see you throw it up there. 3 out of 10 for effort. <clears throat> you can back off the grip a little bit. It looks a little closed. It'll feel very different in your hands. Good. Three tree lines up, left the red. I can't. Okay. Do you find that a little too high for you? No. Try two tree lines up. So three tree lines was a little bit too high for your brain to take in, right? Mm. So look at that, 191 carry. So you see how cool that was? Yeah. So when I said three tree lines up, you were, you were straining to get it up there. Yeah. And notice that time you didn't have to strain so much? Yeah. Did it feel more comfortable? Yeah. Now let's look at the height on that. 85 feet. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Yeah. And notice how the spin came up to 3,400. Yeah. And the launch angle came up to almost 16. Yeah. Now you're talking. Yeah. So when you take the, the four iron, always choose the height that you want to send it on. It'll be two tree lines up mm. in the direction that you want to start the ball. So confirm okay. that and we'll go to the hybrid. Okay. Okay. Well done. Oh, man, that is the sweet spot. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Look at you go. Dang, that's good. <laughs> that's really good, Sav. 188 carry, 210 total. Uh, hello? For a four iron, not bad. <laughs> For a four iron, yeah. A lot of guys would be happy with that. Yeah. Okay. So that looks terrific. So let's go to the hybrid. 